Rage, you are here. Good, good. I want to make sure you're here for your your dedicated stream. You absolute angel. Rage here is an angel. Now he's going to try to tell you that he's not, but he's lying. Alright, where we left off, you. we fell. Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. Do I have subtitles on? They're better. Good, they're on. <laughs> Thank you for another 30 bits, one up gaming. I told you. Where are you going? Now this game does a pretty good job of showing psychosis. These guys are in my ear! What's the story? Alright, so this girl, she's got some sort of mental illness, but she think, calls it the darkness because this is the, uh, I think 7th or 8th century. So, healthcare was pretty much terrible, and knowledge of the world was not very good, so if things didn't work out, it was obviously gods were angry at you. You know, that kind of thing. And, uh, we're going to save our lover's soul. Uh, cause he was sacrificed. And that's his head. On her hip, for some reason. Cause, you gotta take it with you, where are you going? And then we just saw his soul over here. Somewhere. After fighting demons and such. And that's where I ended the stream. <laughs> Thank you, One Up Gaming. There he is, over there. It's clearly him. There it is. It's dead. Go towards him. Quick, go, run. Come on, before he disappears. Go, go, go. Can't really run. Oh god, I tried to run and she just collapsed. Oops. Alright, we're gonna go slow and steady. I'm sorry you're going through stress right now, 1UP Gaming. Oh, I have also forgot to mention, every time that you die, this curse that's on my arm spreads. And it's some bullshit because it was, like, below her elbow before. And then we went through a cutscene and now it's up, it's past my elbow, like, into my bicep, which is bullshit. And if it reaches her head, it's you're you're done. It's permit death, and you lose all your progress, and you start over. And I cannot believe they just increased it, and I didn't even die. I was really mad about that. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. I never got down. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Orkney Plains. It is a cool idea, but it's also annoying that, that they just world. tacked on like, like extra one. deaths against me when I didn't die. And lonely. Oh yeah, and uh, what was her name? The other, uh, the, the goddess of death or whatever, I forgot her name. But she came out and she pushed me off the bridge and it was not a fun time. Hence why she's holding her ribs, because she just fell a lot. The game just doesn't like you. Accurate though. can't wait for the sequel to this game. They've already announced it and I just want it right now. I haven't even finished this one and I already want the next one. Probably not the right way to go. Oh god, that is... Whoa, that is bright. I 
a cave? Ooh. I really want to go in the cave. But I don't want to go where it progresses the story. I just want to find the, like, secret. I'm pretty sure it wants me to go that way. But I really want to find... Stop whispering in my ears, voices. Hello. Oh! Uh... <laughs> It's my mother! <laughs> Hi, Ma! How you doing, Mom? Senua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the Free? whole ocean is your home. And it does not ask you to swim against it. Oh my goodness, Bree! Thank you for subscribing! That's so sweet of you! <laughs> We're just chilling in a cave and there's my mom's face. Can I... I don't want to hear this again. Can I skip? Senua. Well. Oh, am I out? I've entered photo mode. Let me there out. There will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted. A strange little Nope, fit. can't. Can't. Can't get out. Well, we're just going to listen to this You're again. swimming against the tides of the big <laughs> ocean. I just wanted to zoom in to show you, but, but now we're listening to this again. To let go and let the tide carry you away. Oh, honey was actually sick on her birthday. Her tummy wasn't feeling good. Ask you to swim against so she couldn't even have her little birthday doggy ice cream. <sighs> and then, and then today I went to take her out. And she ate a bumblebee. <laughs> I didn't think she was gonna do it. Like, I noticed it too late, and I tried to pull her back from it, but she snapped it out of the air and it was gone. It was just like jaw drop. I'm like, oh. honey, no. I don't think there's any other tablets. I better just keep going. I don't see any. Alright, we'll be here when you get back, Bree. <coughs> Ooh, the lighting is gorgeous. There he was. Way over there. You have to keep doing she remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world oh. danced with him. The gloom lifted. This is the right way to go, right? For the first time in years, she felt. A ray of hope. Yeah, I was supposed to go that way. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> She's up moving a lot more than I than I figured she'd be after falling and hurting pretty much everything. Ooh, the darkness would be swirling. Tablet, there it is. Story. The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. His father was it. built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. 
Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Oh, that's it. All right. <laughs> Cannot believe I'm missing three of them. I've been so, I've been so careful about trying to get them all. is all about Norse, Norse mythology. <laughs> the airlock puzzle. I don't remember that one. I know, I miss tablets. Oh, there's, there's the ladder. It's all good, Michael. Always appreciate lurking. in the original? I don't remember. Or is that like a little, like the little extra thing that they've done to change every boss battle? And or the thing with the will seed? Hmm. I don't remember it. But I've beaten Persona 5 original one many times so <laughs> whatever it was it must not have been that annoying to me I guess <laughs> yeah, there's the blockade from before <laughs> poor Senua she got this crazy look in her eye, I wonder why. It's almost as if she's seeing things. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him. Perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last. <sighs> I want to try to not talk over the story because those whispers are pretty quiet, but for me, they're directly into my skull because of my headset. Uh, more story time. Death for Sigmund and his brothers seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Hi, Jose! Good to see you again. How have you been? Oh, there he is. I know, how dare I talk over the voices in my skull. Ooh, it's getting more vibrant. Oh 
my eyes. It's oh. Just deception. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. Very nice. Very nice. It is normal. She just needs glasses, that's why the tree is a little out of focus and everything else. That's all. Makes you wonder just how much of what she sees is real. Because obviously everything that she sees is real to her, but how much is actually happening? <clears throat> What's your name? Senua. I haven't seen you before. I'm not... I don't leave home much. Oh. Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. No one? Well, I I watched you, and... You learnt all of that from watching me? <laughs> Just a little bit. You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment. Ooh. When you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Make you feel safe. Ooh. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell her. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can stop Welcome back, Bree. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Shut up! It is incredible, Drazzle, and wow, Bree, what a time to come back to. Oh, we had a hallucination of a nice time with a nice pretty field, and then it, everything burned, and there are bodies on that tree. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Ooh, Natty Daddy 69 420, what a name! <laughs> Thank you for following. That's a lot of yikes up there. Oof. Man, they just leave that stuff up there. Rude. Ooh. I see another story. Another story rune. Oh. 
as the she-wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face. He bites the wolf's tongue. The she-wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. What? That's got to be some kind of metaphor. There's no way. No way that your sister just sends their son to help you and you're just like, nah, you're weak and then just kill some. Something else had to have been there. Should I go around this tree or... I mean, all of it, all of it's pretty much a metaphor. But was that a metaphor inside of a metaphor? <laughs> Honey, just barking in the background. Yeah, I can't wait for that too. I just kind of wish that they. Ooh, that's normal. Yeah, let's look at this tree. This tree is really twisted, and so is everything on it, honestly. How do I open this? Is that a sword? Take it. A sword. Take it. Tell him left it for you. Take it. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, this is the tree of death? You know what? Find it. I believe it. Find them. The metal, the runes. You need that sword. Go to the shards. Three. Find the shards. And four. Huh. Honey's not fighting an intruder. She's playing with mom in the other room. I guess we'll do this one first. It's right there after all. Yeah, I just wish they remade three before they did four, honestly. I have no idea what this is gonna be. <laughs> a king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword, Tyrving. Tyrving? Hmm. 
I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Oh, well. Burial mound. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. Oh, the thing I was looking at disappeared too! What? Death. A trippy. You have no answer for it. Bye, Drazzle! We'll oh, probably be here when you get back. And it forces itself onto our friends <laughs> or loved ones. Then comes the reckoning. Thought I saw you over here. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. I think the other ones that I just saw were ones from the other trials. There's no way I missed three in a row in that short area. They're not that close together. Oh no, saving. Interesting. Go in. You have to go in. Take the torch. It's too dark. Take it. Yes, take definitely take the torch, but still go in. You have to be able to see. Less ecstatic about going in here. Gideon, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Let me set that on fire. Alright. It is dark in here. There he is. There he is. Dillian, there he is. Finally. I found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. I'll get with you. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He's just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she Oh my god. Him? Can, you, can you guys chill? Sees Dillion once instantly. Oh my god, you lost him? You lost him? How did you lose him? Oh, I have light now. Can I put this here? If I don't want it, can I? Can I put? Can I put? No. But now I have another source of light in here, which is good. Does not help the dead end though, but at least I know. And I could light other things in here. God, it's so spooky. Nothing's really even happening. Yeah, and I'm already like. Ugh. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Light reflecting on the water in the distance. Are the 
Where are you? Turn left. Stop. Don't touch the walls. This, you don't know what they don't. do. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> This is where I just was. Oh, huh? Huh? Oh, am I just? I am in a loop. <sighs> Love that. I can hear him. A rune. Hever disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors, and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. Ooh. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Interesting. <laughs> All right. The voice is getting louder. Listen, Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. <gasps> there he is. You bet it is. Keep going. Send will follow the voice. You're nearly there. I can't tell. I can't tell which direction they're coming from. Cool. Is this another loop? Almost missed the nagging voices in my head. Oh, oh, we're in a different area now. Not that way. Fuck. I guess it. I guess it is that way. These audio cues are. What's happening? It's not him. <gasps> That's not Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess not that way. Well, shit, I guess not this way. Oh, I hear the distorted screaming. Okay, 
wasn't one of those. If you go through it, ooh, then it like triggers something back. Okay, not one of those. It seems. There's also some distortion in the background. Do you guys hear that? <gasps> He's so fucking close. Oh, right there, maybe like a dumbass. Maybe look at where the hole is. <gasps> This is new. Quiet. He wants me to find him. I'm lost <gasps> without him. Oh, good lord. What's in there? What's in there? I see it. A secret room. That voice. It's not Dillian. But it's not Dillion. But Dillion is in there. I'm <laughs> fuck. Guys, I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very scared. Cause I don't, I don't hear my boy anymore. <laughs> that's not, that's not a good sign. That's you know what? It's good. I'm glad this is dead end. So very, very glad. Going that way, I tell you that. Woohoo! Dang, these uh, these writers, they knew what they were doing. Ooh. I hope that is actually Dillian. Dillian's voice you've been listening to. I swear to God. Don't. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, 
He definitely sounds louder this way. But I can't go up there. So maybe that's not the answer? I don't know. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Mass. How are you doing? <coughs> I'm just currently having some struggles. is going great, but I'm just hella confused. About the grave mount. Shut up, screaming voice in the background. <gasps> Did he just say please in my ear? Alright. There's one of the, r the runes that I found. Congrats, Michael! We're just having some struggles over here. <sighs> this is the wrong rune. I need to find the other rune. <sighs> if there's no clues surrounding the rune, can okay, the other one? Mass, this is fucking built building some anxiety, I tell you fucking what. They're these designers, they did a fantastic job doing that to you. It's a labyrinth, Michael. I'm kind of supposed to be lost. Until I find the clue it's supposed to lead me. But I don't know what that is. Everything looks exactly the same. Light the torch. Light it. I lit it! Light the torch. Light it. Shut up, I lit the torch. See. I lit the torch! And then in here there is no torch. And one of them is blocked off on the left. And then the other one leads me to the rune. But that's not the rune that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the one that I passed already.
Maybe... Maybe I was right. Maybe as much as I don't want to, I'm supposed to go to that room with the fucking creepy voice. That's the only thing that I've seen that's different. It's it's gotta be it. It's just the voices in your head getting out with God mass. I can't believe you gave them to me. before this has to, this has to be significant but it has to be in there as much as I don't want to go in there and hear fucking whatever else is in there this has got to be it Please don't jump scare me. Please don't! Don't! Why did you drop that? You. Ah! Mess! Spooky! Spooky! I'm leaving. Decided. I think it will be good for me. Your father was the demon? It's the darkness. <coughs> it's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy? The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Kill him, Senua. He's in your way. Come, child. Take my hand. Come, Senua. No. 
I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Wow. I can't believe that I got through the end, then got spooked, and I was like, this is obviously the wrong answer. And then I just... I just redid the whole stupid fucking thing. I cannot believe... How do we get over there? Shinawa won't climb that, right? <laughs> Let's walk over here. No. Maybe I'm just not ready to do that one yet. You can just climb the rock. Well, that's not up to me. That's up to Senua. And if the X button decides that I get to climb the rock. The X button has decided, no, I don't get to climb the rock. I also don't want to drop down because then I have to go all the way around again. Come on, man. You really... You really gonna do the do me like this tree? Go all the way around. Unbelievable. Yo, this tree sucks. You hear that tree of death? You suck. <coughs> yeah, the only way down there is blocked, so maybe that's one of the last ones I have to do. Ooh, hang on. We've got some lore over here. Did I see this one already? As the she wolf licks the sweet honey from Sigmund's face, yes. he bites the wolf's tongue. The she wolf pulls away, but Sigmund holds on. The chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead. Dang, you are still telling me a story from way over there? And for vengeance to succeed, <laughs> even the great Sigmund needs help. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan. Love that graphic effect. 